Uh, grumpy old man before work. Get back to work, you guys. You know who you are. I've already made that video. Uh, anyways. So, you know, last few days, after the visit of my friend from Seattle. Hi. I know she'll see it. Anyways. I was thinking recently, you know, there's not a lot really anymore to watch. Movies, television. Non-existent. And I haven't gone long form in a rant in a while, so I'm going to do a little bit of a thought here. So I was thinking, we live in an era of no creativity. Now, don't get out there, you creatives, and say, hey, I'm... No. I'm giving you credit here. Just give me a minute. We live in a world of no creatives. We live in a world run by money people. Money is what has decided what is good and what is bad in this world. And for some reason, Gen X and the younger baby boomers are now the people with money. I wonder why. And you wonder why there's suddenly a resurgence of 80s popularity, music and television? Really? Paper Girls, Stranger Things? I'll leave that for a minute for you to think about. Even Gen Xers now are the current topic. We're becoming the grandparents. Sorry, folks. We're the old guys now. We are the adults in the room. Accept it. The, the younger boomers have known it for a while, but us Gen Xers, we're the grown-ups in the room now, so it's on us for these stories now. They've decided, wait a minute, the Gen Xers entering their 50s have disposable income a lot more than these 30-something. I talk to young kids all the time coming in in Metallica Ride the Lightning shirts, and they're barely old enough. I got older gray hair. So I got to thinking, why the reboot? Why reboot Scooby-Doo? Why reboot Star Wars? Why reboot Star Trek? Why reboot anything? Back to the Future, the musical on Broadway. Spider-Man, the musical on Broadway. Cats, the musical from Broadway, the movie. Lack of originality, the reboot. I did this rant a long time ago. A, a, a guy whose name I will not mention because he ended up in prison later for doing very naughty things. Made a video with my rant about I'm getting sick and tired of these remakes. And I still am sick and tired of these remakes. I've been sick and tired of the remakes. That's where 350 pounds of piss the F off comes from. Point I'm getting at here, folks. Remix, why? Let's take everything we liked about this movie, but the stuff we didn't like in the movie, and, and put it and make it our way. Because it was a really good movie, but but I didn't like this and this and this and this, and I would have done this different and this. We live in an era of fan fiction being released as Hollywood mainstream popularity movies. It's fan fiction. If it's rewriting itself every time it comes back out, it's fan fiction. The authors most likely are dead or moved on or sold. The rights to everything is aging out. Darth Vader is no longer James Earl Jones. Okay, look, let's just be real here. Let's stop casting Darth Vader. Let's stop casting Captain Picard. Because now, for Discovery and Strange New World, they're recasting the next generation. There's going to be a new Captain Picard, a new Worf, a new Troy. But they're going to be adjusted for a contemporary viewpoint. This era of media is going to be looked back on and used as an example of what happens when you rewrite the past to fit the modern. Because you don't evolve, you don't learn, you don't change. Write and want new media and entertainment. Don't deny the independence and support creative outlets that aren't mainstream. Go see The Whale, you know, this new indie film that, that you know, Brendan Fraser is in. Go see that. Don't go see the Avengers 75. Don't subscribe to Disney+. Plus. If you don't like what the politics of the company are, don't support them. If you don't like the way the world is and you don't like how you're seeing the same stuff over and over again, don't spend what little money you don't have left on it. Because all they're hoping for is for you to just get some warm little fuzzies and go, 
it's not exactly how I remember it. And then one day they'll tell you it was exactly how they remembered it, not how you remember it. And then next thing you know, everything will just be recycled. We're recycling the worst thing we should. Our intellect. <laughs>